Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if I could get my camera position better it would be even more exciting. Ah, oh, that works. Oh, if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe. Well, this is going to be quite the unique video because oh boy, do I ever got something special to show you all today. Recently I was contacted by this company called VV Mage and they told me that they have just recently launched a brand new projector called the Explorer 2. And if we the Vita community would like to take a look at it. Ah, <sighs> got me right in the feels. Now you may be thinking to yourself, well wait a minute, the PlayStation Vita is portable, right? I mean, it doesn't even have an HDMI port for goodness sake, how is this going to work? And yes, while that is very true, we mustn't forget that the PlayStation Vita isn't the only family member in the, uh, Vita family. Not sure why I'm addressing them like they're people or something. But there also exists the PlayStation TV, known as the PlayStation Vita TV in Japan. Why is this important? Because it is a mini consoleized version of our handheld that you could hook up to a TV set, or in this case, a projector. Yeah. See where I'm going with this? So we are going to be combining these two together today to form Voltron or uh, maybe they're going to have a baby together or something. I'll give you a couple of seconds to let that mental picture sink in. Okay, let's go. I'd like to thank the good folks over at VV Mage for sending me over this review copy for the purpose of this video. And if we could only just get the box open now, then we'd be able to get this show on the road. I mean, hey, give me some credit. At least I'm opening it a little bit better than I usually do a mayonnaise jar. All right, first up here, it looks like we have the tripod, which incidentally, is a pretty big deal for these projector companies, believe it or not. Many of them don't come with a tripod. They either come with nothing or this tiny little itty bitty snub that hardly raises anything at all. And now we have the power cord, which kind of looks like it plugged into a PlayStation 2. Note to self, I wouldn't actually try that. And now we have the HDMI cord. Oh, I love it when companies actually give you one of those. And it looks like a pretty sturdy one at that. A lens cap, which is very important as well. And now the PS de resistance, the projector itself. One of the things you'll probably notice right off the bat with this thing is just how compact it is. I've seen some projectors out there that are pretty bulky, and I've never really been a fan of those. So this is a great thing to have if you want to save space in your area or if you're like me and your space is kind of uh, limited and if we look at the side here you can see it comes with all of the ports that everybody would need including rgb composite hdmi and it looks like it even has a slot for an sd card that's pretty cool here's what it looks like hooked up to the tripod oh it's so cute nitty bitty it reminds me of that little ball robot from star wars which i can't remember the name of and now disney's gonna sue me and because the tripod is included it makes moving the projector up and down on your wall a breeze to do Ah, this box. Much like my soul, it is empty. Oh wait, no, actually we have a few more things to look at here. Looks like a little mini remote control is included as well. And for those who like to prop up their projectors on something higher up, this makes controlling it much easier. You can still control things through the projector itself though. Ah, and it even comes with some composite cables too. Very nice. I can feel the retro VV Mage. Well, what do you say we get this bad boy hooked up and see what it looks like? You all know how technology can confuse me, right? Amongst most other things in life. But with this, I don't have to worry about that. Looking at the main menu here, as you can tell, the best thing about this projector is its simplicity. The main menu is very clean and easy to understand, making it ideal for first time users. It gives you all the features that you want such as changing the resolution of the picture as well as the aspect ratio as well and keep in mind that this isn't only used for video games but you can also watch movies on it and add images as well as music and now let us fire up our little PlayStation Vita TV and see what this looks like. Not sure why I talked with an accent there. It was a spur of the moment thing. We are currently right now on the main menu of the PlayStation Vita TV. And just to give you a size comparison, here is my hand to show you roughly how big the screen is. Which probably isn't a good thing to do considering I don't have the smallest hands. Hey, I'm just big boned you know, larger than life. Now I didn't measure it, but the screen size is roughly what a 60 to 70 inch flat screen TV would look like. And like with any projector, keep in mind that the further you move the projector away from the wall, the bigger the screen will get. And this projector goes all the way from 38 inches to a whopping 200 inches. So if you want to turn your PlayStation Vita into a movie theater, <laughs> well you can. Now for those who wanted to know all of the specs regarding this projector, here they are right now. Don't forget to pause the video. Now of course I've got some games to look at here. First up, we're going to be checking out Persona 3 Dancing in Moonlight, the import version. With any projector now, the main two things that I am always looking out for is brightness and clarity. 
The reason I emphasize on clarity is because as we've seen from some projectors in the past, particularly budget ones, they have a sharp image in the middle, however around the corners of the actual screen, I mean you know if you can call it the screen, it's kind of blurred out and I've seen that with many projectors in the past, that not only is the image bright, but also all sides of the screen are super sharp, you can see every pixel of the game. And speaking of pixels, let's look at Bloodstained Curse of the Moon next. And if I'm being completely honest here, I think this game actually looks better than Persona 3 did. You can see every last detail of this game, especially if you make the screen big. Oh, be still my retro beating heart. If you're new to projectors, you should know that since the image is only being projected, <laughs> see what I did there, onto the wall, the actual sound from the image is coming from the projector itself. And I'll give you a little taste of what that sounds like right now. And if the image quality is not up to your liking, remember that you can always change that in the settings or with the included focus option you can make the image as crisp as you'd like. The crisper, the better. Huh, there's a weird joke in there somewhere isn't there? Now we shall take a look at... One Piece! Ah, love this game. If you haven't tried it out on Vita yet, you absolutely should. But just look at it. Look at the colors, guys. You can see every detail on this game. And you can just enjoy me briefly running around the town like a yet because it's been so long since I played this game, I couldn't remember where to go. But hey, the whole point of this video is just to show off the actual image quality and not actually me getting anywhere. It would seem at this point that I love everything about this projector. Well, I do, at least for the most part. There is one negative, however, that I have against it. And that is the fan. It was kind of on the loud side. And honestly, while I was capturing footage for this video, it started to kind of annoy me. Although I was right next to the projector while I was doing so, thus if you move the projector away from you, the volume of your game will drown out the fan noise. But other than that, I have no complaints here. If you're interested in purchasing this projector yourself, make sure to check out the link in the description below. And that pretty much covers it guys, that's everything I needed to say regarding this product. I'd like to once again thank the good folks over at VVMage for sending over this review copy. And for actually acknowledging the PlayStation Vita community, that's the thing I loved about this company the most. Warning, I might start stalking you now. <laughs> Just kidding, I wouldn't do that, but I really would. Let me know what you all thought of this product, however, down in the comment section below. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. The following video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous people, including FoD. Rayco Star, Mango Man, Matt Fox, Rodrigo Vera, Sculpture Tugel TCG, Adam Theory, Aaron Swanson, Mario Cruz, Jelly, Heston Joseph, Pierce Sterner, Buzz Sayin, Kevin Enright, Erock, JR, Jared Hado, Richard Cruz, Dennis R. Huggins Jr., Joshua Williams, Kyle Brooks, Saul Ramirez, Ruben Gutierrez, Adam Sondi, Hero Acer, BMF, and Phantom XRS. If you yourself would be interested in supporting the channel, check the links down in the description below. I have various ways for you to do so down there. Man, I cannot believe that for the longest time I've had the PlayStation TV all this time and never thought about hooking it up to a darn projector. I guess it just goes to show I really should start thinking for myself. But why start now?